Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Sorry. Remember red hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates. Green hearts if you're working on it. Yellow hearts if you work. rock with me and got my six, meaning I have my back. Because I have yours, we are pulling from the Ascended Life Oracle deck. All of these cards come out, and you know what? We need to listen to them. We need to hear them out, and we need to see. That just lets me know. Clarification. Anyway, Pink Diamond. Okay. So, <laughs> do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, Red Hearts, if you made it through. Purple Hearts, if it resonates. Green Hearts, if you're working on it. Yellow Hearts, if you rock with me. I got my six. Me to have my back because I have yours. This energy lets me know that you are rising from the ashes. You're realizing the karmic cycles and the toxicity that you've been around. There would, would have been a reconciliation or um, a relocation until you looked at everything for what it was. No, that's not happening. You got to realize that you're a pink diamond. You're rare, you know, um, a rare opportunity slash find one of a kind. Unique creative expression, wealth, and prosperity. Let's just talk about it. And it says thorns at the bottom of the deck. And this, to me, local travel is chariot energy. A painful sacrifice, hard choices to prevail. Life is testing you, suffering for a goal. No, we're not doing that no more. Local travel. Many local vacations, getting out more. A romantic weekend getaway. Have uh, to drive more. So... Again, um, these are thorns in your back. I'm going to put these down here like that because you need to understand that you are a rare diamond. The local travel could be chariot energy. Sorry, you guys. I'm whispering because, you know, my grandbaby's in the other room. You had to realize and ask yourself, does this really sit with me? Is this really worth it? Does this really sit with me? Is this really worth it? If I know that I've done everything when I knew that this is the karmic cycle from the beginning, I tied these knots. I made these knots strong for what they are. But I'm still settling. I still have reached a plateau. I'm still bored. You know, bored on daily routines, wanting more out of life, longing for uh, a change, con uh, constrained by circumstances. So there were some circumstances that kept you kind of constrained karmic cycle is here it says settling scores in this life karmic situations karmic patterns negative cycles and personal growth that's it it's all about you right Re relocation is here a change in home moving to a new location plans to relocate and relocating for work the next one is uh reconciliation restoration or former connections apologies forgiveness trying again in a different way in conversations. Um, I believe there was, a common, there was conversations in regards to the toxicity, but you are the phoenix, and um, you are rising from the ashes. You know, rising from the ashes, being offered a second chance, the end of despair, what was lost in, is, bring, uh, is being restored. Hmm. You know, when it comes to certain things, you got to know with the four agreements, you've done your best and that sometimes it's just things that you cannot do You and it's not in your control. Are you bringing toxicity to the situation or has toxicity already been here? It's something that you ignored and now here it is. Toxic situations slash people. It's time to purge. Having a toxic mindset, dead end relationships. That's it. Dead end relationships. You know it. At the end of the day, we all know it. And so, therefore, the only thing you can do is walk away from the things that no longer serve you. I'm going to pull from the Honest Love Tarot to see what comes down. Or what, to see what comes out, shall I say. Yeah, this is toxic. And you can, should I stay? Should I go? Hmm. Relocation. Yeah. Let me take you away. The relocation and fear. They're trying to take you away. Two cards, number seven, is because they're fearing losing you. So they want a reconciliation. 
reconciliation comes with ace of swords you're having clarity on why karmic cycles yeah death transformations taxes and sex yeah you are ending these energies the phoenix rising from the ashes you know you're just like yeah i can't make a move towards you right now um this kind of came unsure so you're rising you knew that this person can't make a move towards you um at some time at some point and that's the reason why the situation got longer and longer um i was going to clarify the five yeah they're coming so this person wanted to come and talk to you um and you know try to reconcile or whatever but you're realizing that you're wanting more out of life and therefore unsure energy we should slow down that's what you were not unsure if you should tell them that we should slow down you're the one they dream about and they have you wrapped around their fingers see they thought that you know and so therefore they thought that that energy of them telling you that was going to keep you and you know what you're doing what lights you up and a journey to self-discovery is what you're on let's clarify that yeah throat chakras yeah will you pick me emotional communication and truth spiritual so throat chakras is communication expression and trust say what you want me what you say trust in what you say um you will you pick me card number six this is you know kind of like them asking you in so many words but they're not going to tell you that. So this energy and this conversation is not going to come out the way that you want it to. It's coming out toxic. <laughs> Think before you act. That's the reason why. It's coming out toxic. You know it. You're spilling your beans. A pink diamond, you're being rare. You have to realize that. I love you. They know you're rare. They love you. But the thorns, the painful sacrifice, you've been sacrificing for way too long. You taught me so much. They did. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. They taught you, they taught you to stop doubting yourself. You know, and so local travel at the bottom of the deck, I hope you're waiting for me. You're not really waiting for them. You want to hear something, but you know that it's not going to come out the way you want to. Think before you act of making decisions in regards to moving or reconciling with the situation. Because guess what? They're still on that bullshit. Back up on my bullshit. Don't fucking with me. You know, they're they're still there. So now I'm gonna pull from the um, what is it called? Grounded in love. This is not it. I'll pull from this, but is this grounded in love? No, this is not grounded in love. This is um how to win at love, I think. Let me see. They all look alike, but hold on. Uh-huh. Be patient, don't rush it. Maybe the problem is you. <laughs> yeah, be patient, don't rush it. And then there's no room for narcissistic behavior. <laughs> Narcissists have a hard time loving someone else because they don't truly love themselves. Reflect on the reasons that led you to accept their accept this behavior. <laughs> so again, when they feel like they're losing you, they come around narcissistic energy. Be patient. It says Love is not a race to treat it like it can be won um, and owned. In love, you win and lose together. Be patient and let them grow in their own time, not yours. You already walked away. You already walked away. What more can you do? What more can you do? How many years has it been? I'm going to pull from tarot, another tarot deck. But let me see. If I can find how to win at love. This is the archetype deck. See, I say all these cards look alike. Yeah. Um, I got one more card deck and then I got to figure it out. But anyway, you guys do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember red hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates. Green hearts if you're working on it. Yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six meaning have my back because guess what? I have yours. I love you guys. I sound like a man. <laughs> right now trying to whisper but i had to get this reading out it comes out the way it needs to this just shows you the journey that someone has been on remember take what resonates leave what doesn't sometimes toxicity isn't enough and it's been long enough that you've waited for this situation to change and it hasn't changed so if something doesn't change you need to change and especially if you've given your best and done your all to a situation and you're just like 
I'm over it. So there you have it. Let me go ahead and yeah, let me go ahead and just pull from the archetype deck to see the energy you're dealing with. I mean, but we already know the type of energy that you're that you've been dealing with and the type of energy that they're on. So uh, therefore, all I need to do is pull the pinnacles. Um, yeah, all I need to do is pull the pinnacles. This seven of swords energy, you know, and so the sevens means oppositions, obstacles, conflict, and challenges. So these are the challenges that you've been going through. Wait, maybe the problem is you. Yes, it takes two to tango, but if you're simply blaming them, you're doomed to make the same mistakes until you learn and grow from the failed relationships. You understand? So it is you. It is you because guess what? I keep accepting the same karmic toxic cycles in my life. And because of my fear of the what ifs. <laughs> anyway, the wounded. Trapped unresolved emotions. Old wounds sneak into the rela their re relationships. Old wounds sneak into their relationship. Strong emotional reactions. Hmm. You tell me. Unexpected lover. Not actively looking for love. Wants to love without looking for it unpredictability is attracted to them so this is what they like is the unexpected of everyone else that comes into their life not the stable person you codependent unhealthy attachments to partners sacrifices themselves for another feels worthless unless they are needed um take what resonates we are very codependent but uh, also this person is codependent on their toxicity when it comes to us until they see us rising and moving forward the stranger, a new lover partner, someone you barely know, someone you haven't met. This is the unexpected lover that comes out when it comes to how they keep going back and forth with different people. The sex sorcerer, a master in sexual art. They know they can deliver, will be your best sex you ever had. Mm -hmm. Until you realize bullshit and you call it, right? Mm -hmm. I cannot find my card deck, so I might pause it in a minute. To see what comes out. Let me just pull tarot. I'm going to pull from the empathic tarot deck. To see what comes out. Because yeah this person has you messed up. Vulgar is at the bottom of this deck. It says behave. Offensively rude or inappropriate. Harsh harsh, no filter. Cutting, cutting and then blunt. How you, pre how you present yourself. Listen hold on. How you present yourself is how people first view you. <laughs> what are you showcasing? So maybe in the beginning when you were going through whatever you had to go through, this unexpected person caught you off guard and you showed them everything on your sleeve, right? You showed them everything on your sleeve just to let them know that, hey, you can trust me. I'm just going through something right now. And they turn around and they think that that is the reason or the key aspects, you know, seven years later, maybe that you should just keep staying around <laughs> there you have it all right king of wands energy dependably goal oriented so you're very goal oriented when it comes to certain situations but um knight of wands energy fearless action <laughs> you are taking fearless action or this this king of wands that maybe you've been dealing with is dependably organ uh goal oriented on your on their behalf um and so the fearless action is them returning in confidence uh eight of swords in the reverse not overthinking they're returning in confidence so this is why they're coming back to talk to you lover's card was at the bottom of the deck this is why they're coming back to talk to you because they have goals but painful transition you're going to end this before it even starts you're going to end this before that even starts because you're going to see that the toxicity is still there. You, you're you going to see that it's a lifetime. Queen of Swords, yeah, thinking strategically. You're going to see that it's a, life, a lifetime of bullshit. Eight of Cups, a stagnant routine, still the same. So they can be dependently goal-oriented. Moving forward. You're moving forward when it comes to this situation. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Grateful togetherness. You're trying to figure out if this is a grateful togetherness or does this have to do with the child and the reason why this person has been around you for a while king of swords energy the energy ethics over emotions so this person still comes around you maybe could be a king of swords type energy but they still come around 
they're still vulgar. And then when you don't tell them what they want, then they, they, they start to act this way, you know? So now you have the situation act up, you can get smacked up, you know, because you're realizing that the narcissist has a hard time letting go of the things that they felt like they control and they're fearful and they want to take you and try to show you something different. All these years I've been waiting. No. So anyway, um, let's see. I don't know why. I'll pull from in the shadows just because it's in my hands. Um, but uh, I hope that you can forgive me one day that tried to come out. <laughs> um, this says no psychics allow. Perhaps it's time to stop depending so much on tarot readings and start trusting your own intuition and decision making. Hmm. I'm just saying, look, maybe it's time for you to just stop listening to every ear. I mean, and at some point, sometimes it has to be minds too, you know, respectfully, you have to grow in the situation. And if anything that doesn't resonate with you, you know, is here. I look for you everywhere. I'm starting to understand our connection. So that is where this comes in at. They have to understand that. And grateful togetherness in order for things to work. But I wish things could be different. That could be your energy, you know. And so, therefore, you have to move forward when it comes to certain situations um, and certain things. I was trying to pull at how to win at love. But I'm going to go ahead and pull from true intentions. To see what comes out. And then we're going to let this energy go. By pulling the four agreements. And also the crystal deck. Hmm. There we go. Come on. Yeah. I just believe that. I don't care what people say anymore. I'm ready to fight for our relationship. Yeah. But it's the way that they do things. I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> I'm allowing the universe to show me a way. If it's meant to be, it will be. This is not a good time to push hard for answers. You may not like the outcome. Wait for the outcome. So um, they're not going to like the outcome. I'm ready to embrace the changes that will take place if I date you. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's just the bullshit of what happens behind that. They realize that you never really needed them. Um, mentally, you weren't there. They weren't there. Physically, they were in and out. And emotionally, they were never there. So you had to gain your confidence by yourself. When it comes to the situation, let me pull tarot to see what comes out. Um, no, I'm going to pull from the Ask Yourself deck to ask yourself these questions when it comes to the situation. You guys, again, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. High priestess, trust your intuition. Yellow hearts if you rock with me. I got my six mean to have my back. Burdens because I have yours. Two of cups, the devil, the queen of wands, and will of fortune. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, page of cup. What situation in your life is bringing about some type of, of opportunities? Page of cups is here. Also, page of cups is here because I pulled the other card down here but anyway or maybe it was already there new excitement what's bringing opportunity in our life ask yourself you're you're moving a little bit differently so anyway this is the high priestess this is trusting your intuition about the burdens and the ebb and flows of life the you know the cycles of life especially when it comes into love and toxicity and also your confidence and the things that you want out of life and so at this point what you're saying is I wish that things could be different because high priestess energy says, what is your true, what is your, your intentions trying to tell you? The other one says, what has become overwhelming in your life? The other one says, what changes are entering your life and how are they a part of your destiny? The other one says, are you ready to commit to, to someone or something of, uh, in love? Something you love. Devil, what boundaries need to be created in your life? When it comes to toxic situations, <laughs> confidence, Queen of Wands energy, what are you passionate about and uh, ready to create? So is this a life with this person or is it just you moving forward for new opportunities? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm going to pull from the four agreements 
Then we're going to let this old energy go. I wish I could have found. Hmm. There you go. My, uh, when is it? When I love deck. Um, here we go. Don't take anything personally. See other people as they are. You're seeing these per people, places, and situations as they are. It says, when you see other people as they are without taking it personally, you can never be hurt by what they say or do. Even if others lie to you, it's okay. They are lying to you because they are afraid you will discover that they are not perfect. <laughs> and that's the, whole, that's the whole synopsis of the situation. They play this role as if they're per perfect and they drain you mentally, physically, and spiritually until you start catching up on their bullshit. And so there you have it. That is what you're discovering. Let's pull from the crystal deck. All right. The blue appetite. It's the throat chakra and the third eye chakra. We already have the throat chakra here. And um, the high priest is intuition. So it says the throat chakra, and I'm just letting you know, communication, expression, and trust. That saying um, that, um, sorry, say what you want, mean what you say, and trust in what you say, you will move forward. You are a different type of individual, and you are trusting in your intuition with confidence. And so, therefore... Their toxicity will not get the best of you anymore, you know, because of their fears. They're putting their fears off on you, and it says that. So don't take it personally. Um, the throat chakra and the third eye chakra. Third eye chakra is intuition, perception, and understanding. That saying what's understood doesn't have to be explained. That is where we are when it comes to this situation. And so it says I see clearly and express myself with ease. I see clearly and express myself with ease. All right, you guys, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me and got my six. Me and I have my back because I have yours. I love you guys. Have a good day.